This is McCook's Mr. Bill. It's an honor to have you here. 33 years I've been Mr. Bill on the streets of McCook selling snow cones for a quarter. Absolutely. And with spring coming, that'll mean 20 hour days for 90 days straight, seven days a week. You bet. It will wiggle the branches. And it's a blessing to be able to do it. But anybody that is around the public, you had better be ready and have the patience of Job and the wisdom of Solomon. For example, I had a lady come up to the candy truck to purchase something, I assume. But once she got up here, she said, you're breaking the law. And I said, oh, really? I said, well, there's a whole bunch of laws. Which one? And she said, you're practicing medicine without a license. Practicing medicine without a license. I said, you know, I've never been accused of that before. And she pointed over, and I have Band-Aids. I said, Band-Aids. And it says free on there. I'll give them free to anybody that needs one. And she said, that's illegal. You can't do that. And I said, oh, really? And <clears throat> I said, once in a while out here in the park, a kid will get skinned up, bleeding. He'll come over. He or she will come over and get a Band-Aid. And, you know, I said, that way it covers it until I can get home and get proper care for it. You can't do that against the law and I said so you're gonna put me in jail you are gonna put me in jail where I will be beaten and raped and tortured every day for the rest of my life because a child got hurt and is bleeding and I give them a band-aid you know on judgment day on judgment day I think I'm going to be awfully glad that I'm not you I had a lady come up to the truck and just about screaming at me saying you hired my child without my permission I said oh really I said I don't want to break your bubble but I don't hire anybody you're uh, looking at my truck there's just one seat in there there's no room for anybody else for sure and for certain not counting my insurance company wouldn't allow me to hire anybody without more insurance so I said, there's no way that I could hire your son. And she said, you're lying. My son said, you hired him to pick up trash. And I said, well, at least now I know where we're coming from. You see, I have a standing rule that if the children don't have any money, I'll give them free food. And with that in mind, your child must have come back and asked for a second handout. I can't afford to feed your child twice a day, free. And so I said no, and he or she, as others have occasionally, will say, how about if I pick up trash for you? Well now, if they offer that, that's a good lesson. Work equals a payment of some kind. I don't mind paying for that lesson. And so that's what I did. If they picked up some trash, I'd give them a second treat. Just once will I do that. But needless to say, that's how that must have went down. And she would have loved to have gotten my face even more and chewed me out, or perhaps got me angry myself at her anger at me. Again, when you're around the public, you need the patience of Job and the wisdom of Solomon. And always, always keep calm when no one else is around you. But one day a junior high girl come trotting out of the school and she was crying. She came over to the candy truck. And she said, Mr. Bill, my mother had forgotten to put money in the account at the uh, lunchroom so they won't let me have any dinner. And I'm hungry, Mr. Bill. And she was crying. I said, no problem. And I said, you want a fruit drink or you want a water or a pop? She wanted the pop, so I gave that to her. And I gave her a beef jerky and I gave her a bag of popcorn. Didn't charge her anything, might have been $2. I said, no problem. So she stood there and visited a little bit as she ate and drank. Got her dinner, if you will. And up came a car, pulled in front of mine, backwards, illegally on the street, pulled in right in front of me, facing me, my, with her, their car, and the, the woman jumped out and stomped over, and I knew trouble was coming. And she told the girl, she said, I gave you orders never to eat out here at this candy truck. 
And the little girl was trying to explain. The woman would have none of it as she grabbed her arm. And as she started to walk toward the school, she looked back at me and she said, I'm going to get you kicked out of here. Okay. And into the schoolhouse they went. Now that woman had some power because she was one of the school board members. They are not somebody to be trifled with. Okay, fine. And it wasn't very long though that she came out of the school a lot calmer and she went in. And she walked over and got in her car and left. No, she didn't offer to pay the two dollars. She didn't even say thank you for feeding her child when the school wouldn't. That's right. Yeah. Again, there are days you need the patience of Job and the wisdom of Solomon 